Hey everyone, welcome back and happy new year. Let's hope that 2018 is a little bit less of a political mess than 2017. Oh wait. The Obama administration placed a ban on drilling which protected 100 million offshore acres of the Arctic and Eastern seaboard, but the Trump administration wants to lift this ban which would seriously derail one of Obama's greatest environmental achievements. The Trump administration will allow new offshore oil and gas drilling in nearly all the United States waters. Oh, and side note, when talking about the East Coast cold weather, Trump tweeted that they could use a little bit of that, quote, good old global warming. So, marijuana is now legal in California. Sort of. Even though marijuana use is technically legal in California, what that entails could change very soon. It seems as if the Trump administration is planning on making some big changes in that regard. Attorney General Jeff Sessions stated that marijuana use is simply too dangerous to allow, so the states with legal marijuana use are going to be watched heavily and they might carry out a crackdown. Big shocker, Logan Paul posted a controversial video on his controversial YouTube channel. He filmed himself going inside the suicide forest and then made jokes while standing next to a dead person. As expected, his video received tons of backlash from the public, though Logan's Twitter and YouTube apology stated that he had no bad intentions. Logan Paul's YouTube apology video got 29 million views and he made around $12,000 alone from that apology. This is why we can't have nice things like a YouTube account with 15 million subscribers. Once again, the FBI is opening an investigation on the Clinton Foundation. After President Trump asked them to, the Justice Department decided to reopen that investigation despite the fact that during the 2016 election, they realized there wasn't enough evidence to continue. They'll take a look at the politically charged accusations of corruption, though it's doubtful that this time will be any different than the last. The Labor Department released a report stating that unemployment is at 4.1% with 148,000 jobs added in December alone. Average hourly earnings grew by 9%, bringing the year-over-year -year increase to 2.5%. This report shows that things are going actually quite well economically, but at the same time, job growth was slightly weaker than in 2016 under President Obama's administration. While most economists do not think that presidents determine the overall course of the economy, Trump took to Twitter to take all the credit for himself. And on that note, I bid you adieu.